Well, good afternoon, uh, YouTube. It's Hair BMW with uh, another little short project on my uh, 06 E90 330i. And um, you can see that I have removed the inside of the hood mat, which is down here. And um, it's in pretty good shape. But um, I really wanted to just clean it up a little. I vacuumed it good. And um, I have all new fasteners to put it up because the ones that are in there are essentially just a one-time use thing. They're the plastic screw things and they, they never work. So I figured as long as I had it off, I would go ahead and clean it up. And after my project earlier today, I um, had my duplicate color vinyl and fabric left and I thought hmm, that's going to be the perfect thing to just make that cover with the exception of the indentations and it looks like brand new so that's what I'm about to do and I'll get back with you uh, once I'm done and we'll put it up all right we'll talk to you soon okay YouTube I hope you can hear me so the final result of my freshly repainted undercover uh, mat turned out, I think turned out great. And um, it's a pretty simple process for reinstalling it. It's uh, got a whole series of tabs that uh, just sort of locate the whole thing pretty much by itself and we'll hold it in there without a whole lot of effort. I'm just going to get those put in and then it should be a pretty easy matter of just putting in in. Didn't quite get enough of it right back there, but that's all right. Lining it up, and then what it's got is the typical BMW fastener. This is uh, threaded, and when you screw it in, it spreads this part, holds them, holds them in. That's the theory. So we'll see. So. going to pop these in and see what happens. There we go. And uh, one of the hard parts with working with these things is what you kind of need is just the very tip of a Phillips head screwdriver, but the pointier it is, the, the more it wants to round these fasteners out. So um, I just happen to have a specialty screwdriver that I don't even know where I came up with it, but it has sort of a sort of a blunt tip, and for these fasteners, it works as good as anything else. I don't know that it's better by any means, but I've had pretty decent success with it. And the whole idea is to just get that screw to go in there and spread out the back of that fastener. That's all it's doing. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not holding much. But really, that's about it. It's uh, pretty much just that simple. So, there you go. We'll show you the final product. Of course, typically, as I caveat all the time, it's a black car, so it's really pretty hard to see much of anything. But, yeah, I don't think there's anything you can see. But anyway, it, uh, it does look good, and that's a little short 
DIY. Um, get the focus right. You can, I guess, maybe you can see it, the light overhead. But it, it doesn't look brand new. You still see the indentations in it from where it, it presses on things under the hood. But at least it's not all that kind of faded black. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped. Bye.